Hi guys, Thomas here with my Minima and uh, I've been playing with the KISS mixer tonight. I think we haven't spoken enough about that mixer on the Minima main list, so I wanted to throw in some more information. Um, so this is my setup. Um, the mixer is actually down here. Um, we have one transformer, another transformer, and one FET and two FET. Um, so you probably can't see that very well, but you're going to have to trust me on that. Um, and uh, I'm not using any of the other circuitry, so the minima is powered, but uh, I'm injecting the uh, LO signal here and a signal coming from where the uh, crystal oscillator would be, so uh, IF signal too. And uh, the output, which would be the uh, output in transmit of the receiver before it goes through the low pass filter, is uh, going here to my scope and to my spectrum analyzer. And to inject the signal, I'm using a function generator. Uh, and so the first channel here on the left is the uh, IF. So I'm injecting 20 megahertz at minus 20 dBm and the other channel is the um, SI570 channel. So 34 megahertz, 10 dBm. That's about what I'm getting when I uh, measure the strength of the, s the power of the signal uh, in, in circuit when I have the, the rest of the minima working. Um, so now if I look at the, um, at the output on the spectrum analyzer, uh, what I see is I have um, the marker number one here, and I hope you can you can read that. Uh, so let's start with micro marker number three, uh, 34 megahertz minus eight dBm. So that's our local oscillator um, leaking in the output. Um, we injected 10 dB and we have minus eight, so that's 18 dB suppression. Um, not sure if that's great or not, but um, um, uh, we would like to see a little bit less of that. Um, the actual uh, output is the signal at 14 dB, uh, 14 megahertz. Like the, that is the signal we're interested in, and uh, that signal is at minus 38 dB, which is pretty low. Uh, we should be getting about 10 dBm at the output of the minima, so we're we're still too low. Maybe the signals I'm injecting are not strong enough. Um, but I don't, I don't think so. So uh, it's something I'm trying to figure out is why the output is not a little bit stronger. The other signals here, uh, marker number two is 20 megahertz. That's our um, IF leaking out through to the RF port. And uh, marker number four at 54 megahertz is the other product of the uh, IF and the ELO. And it is also at minus minus 35 36 dbm right now so it's a we're getting a little bit more on the sum of the both signal than the difference but uh doesn't really matter we're we're not going to use that signal the other thing i'm probing here is the are the uh voltage on both the drain of the fets and so that's going to that other scope here and we can see that we're getting two um signals that are in opposite phase. We have a 180 degree phase difference between both of them. So that's good. That's what we want. And what I'm going to show you now is that here on my uh, voltmeter, I have the bias on the FET. So this is the voltage coming out of the voltage divider here. So I have the trim pod here to adjust the voltage divider and I'm measuring before the resistance. Um, that goes there. So just to show you on the schematic, I'm hoping you can see that. This is where we are um, here actually. So those are the two FETs. One transformer, two transformer, and we have five volts up here and we're adjusting between zero and five volts to control the bias here. And what I'm measuring here is the voltage here before that resistance. And uh, right now we have five volts and I'm gonna go all the way down to zero volts and show you what happens. And you'll see that it's actually pretty uneventful. So let me 
do that. So I'm starting to go down. Um, so we're looking for the point where we get the best rejection of the uh, LO signal on the output, but I don't see any difference in the LO signal ever. So I'm at 3.5 volts now. That's about where we would want to be, 3.2, 3.3. And going down, going down, going down. Um, still no difference. Going down even more. I'm at 2 volts now. There's still no difference in the signal whatsoever. And still going down. Screwdriver with my left hand is not my number one skill. And now I'm 1.2 volts, 1 volt. We're still not seeing any difference anywhere. I'm almost at zero volt, uh, but I've done it several times. Nothing happens. Uh, and now if I do another experiment is if I remove the power completely from my minima. So now we're still getting the signals injected, but there's no more bias on the, on the fed. There's no more power in there. We're still getting the exact same signal on the output. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but I thought I would share this little video. Um, I hope uh, it will help spark some interesting conversation. Thank you.